What's up, y'all? It's CJ Moto, and I'm back. And today we're going to talk about pedal assist on your electric bicycle. You're going to have a pedal assist. That's the whole thing where um, you set it up on a on a Super 73, for instance. It asks you if you want 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100% pedal assist. If you want this feature, it's going to allow you to still pedal your bicycle and kind of control how fast you go. But at the same time, you're not putting out all the effort. Uh, the bike's doing a lot of the effort. The electric battery's doing a lot of effort. But uh, your thumb throttle, because that's your other option, is your thumb throttle. That's your for us moto heads. That's what I'm probably going to be in most of the time is throttle mode. But uh, your thumb throttle, that allows your thumb to just give all the effort. So if you're used to a traditional bicycle, the pedal assist is going to feel more natural to you than using a thumb throttle or a twist throttle or whatever else. Whatever whatever other options you might have. So we're going to just look through here real quick on juicebicycles.com and we're going to look at these two different types of pedal assist. Um, thanks for giving me this information, Juice. It's, you know, it's on the internet, so here it is. The basic cadence sensor uses a magnet. This is cadence sensors. So a cadence sensor is the type of pedal assist you will get on a Super 73 bicycle. On a juiced bicycle, I believe they have torque sensors. So, the basic cadence sensor uses a magnet on the crank. It turns the motor on when you start pedaling, and it turns the motor off when you stop pedaling. It works more or less on and off like a switch. Using the cadence sensor, you have to control the boost level with and speed by adjusting the assist mode manually up and down. So that explains why on a boot on a uh, on a Super 73 bicycle, you set that up. On your, on your handlebar there if you want 25%, 50, 75, or 100. Because that's where you adjust how much assistance you want to receive. And then basically the bike just knows whether your feet are moving on the crank using a vi an optical sensor. And the sensor looks like this if you can see it. So there's your sensor. And that's how the bike knows if your feet are moving. And then it gives you the required uh, amount of assistance that you previously selected through the dial indicator on the handlebar. Simple enough. Okay, and then you have a uh, torque sensing. The torque sensor is more advanced. It sounds like it might be a little more advanced. I mean, it, they're saying that and they sell a model with a torque sensor, so keep that in mind. But uh, I think it is probably more advanced technology because it has to measure using this little guy right here. It uses this type of guy and it also uses your RPMs. Um, it takes your torque you're putting out with your legs and it transfers that to how much power. So they don't have to necessarily have different ride modes, uh, 25, 50, 75 with a torque based system because it's right off of how much pressure your legs are putting out. Uh, 1,000 times per second over the entire, entire pre pedal stroke, a torque sensor measures how hard the rider is pedaling to determine how much electric power to push to the bike. The harder you pedal, the more power it gives to the motor. If you pedal lighter, less power goes to the motor. It makes this adjustment in real time. So the torque sensor is based on how much exerted force you're putting out onto that crank arm. And that's how it tells how much more power it's gonna give to the bike on the motor as well. So the harder you pedal, the more work the motor's gonna do. The less hard you pedal, the less work the motor's gonna do. Okay, so cadence, in recap, summary, Cadence is based on movement, optical movement. Are your legs moving? Yes, they are. Okay, let's send 25% of power because that's what he told us to do. Always moving, 25%. Moving, 25%. Okay, he changed the setting to 75%. His legs are moving. Let's give him 75% assist. 75 oh, he's a little three pound weakling. He set the settings to 100. He, his legs are moving. Let's basically do all the work for him. 100% pedal assist all the time what if he's cruising he's like man this is too easy i want to make this uh more i want to exert more energy i got to change the settings on the handlebar if you have the torque based system and you're riding along and you're like this is too easy my grandma could do this you know my uh my 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 best friend's hot mom could do this no problem whatever you know um torque based you just uh push a little harder with your legs you're exerting more force and now it's doing more work, less hard, it's doing less work. You can basically control more on the torque based system, um, kind of how much of a workout you're getting, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, they're both cool. 
It says here if you have the chance to ride Cadence only e-bike and torque sensor setup back to back you will instantly notice the difference. The torque sensor setup makes the bike feel weightless due to the amplification effect. You can also feel more in control of the bike. So there's the pictures again. I hope at least you understand. I think the only real way, and I haven't even had the luxury of doing this yet, is actually trying these out. So I haven't tried the cadence based system and I haven't tried the torque based system. I can pretty much understand kind of how it's gonna feel. I think the I think the cadence based system is gonna feel kind of more artificial and, and kind of like alien, which I kind of think that's cool. I'm kind of down with that. The torque based system would feel more natural, almost like you forget you have it, but you have it type deal. Um, that's what I'm thinking. But uh, the only real way to do this is to get go to a bike shop, an electronic bike shop, and, and it would definitely benefit you if you have the option. Go to a bike shop and try both of these systems out before you make your um, decision on which type you would want to get. There's also electric bikes that have both. You can select if you want it to be Cadence or want it to be Torque. That would be fr pretty awesome, but it would also be, what, one more thing to go wrong. Sometimes simplicity is a little better than than complication unless you like watches then you just love complicated things and complicated women you just like complication then you might want both anyhow i hope you all enjoyed that video i'm gonna be right back at you and not long at all cj moto out hope you all enjoyed that video and learned a little something if you did and if you want to see more great content out of cj moto films please hit that like button subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends i will see you next time and i thank you so much for stopping by and learning